Droid DML Gamers, we actually have some pretty interesting news today because pretty much out of the blue, we unexpectedly had news that an official emulator exists for Android players, at least in beta format for some regions. Not very many, and me personally, it's not available to me. But we do have some people that have tested out this new emulator for Android DML players. And essentially, it will allow you to play DML on PC. But the big catch is that it is not cross-platform. And what I mean by that is you might be able to, you know, get your little phony out and, like, get your DML account up, for example, on your mobile. And then you can go and play it on PC now, for some of us. But the problem is that it's not like you can connect to other Windows players or iOS players. It's basically the same game that you're playing on Android on PC with a couple of bonuses. And one of those, if for anyone that does try it out, is predominantly things like the feed button, which Android players didn't have before. You can actually use this new feed button for you, which it's been on Windows for a very long time. For any of you Android gamers, when you go and log into your account and emulate it onto your PC, if you have the availability, you will be able to have access to that feed button now. And there's probably an, a few other good quality of life changes because, I mean, on Windows, we don't get ad pop-ups all the time as well, which maybe that's a way to circumvent ads being shown up as well. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it's possible. So for anyone that does have the answer, please let me know. And also, you'll be able to really, really scroll out now, apparently. That's another thing that you can do. So you will have the ability to scroll out quite considerably. And from what I've seen, people have been saying that the actual overall quality is actually pretty good. So when you do emulate it, you're going to have the bigger view of everything, which I'm sure is going to be fantastic. But just to go into what has actually happened to allow this, we do have this page here, which you'll see for me. It says the beta isn't available in your region yet because this is a beta. And there will be lots of crashing, probably a few problems when you try and do this emulation. But it is an official Google Play Games emulation. So you can essentially play your Android games on PC. But there were a few more details regarding this actually posted by the official DML Discord. And we've got this in my server here. So they said DML is now available on Google Play Games beta. Dragon Trainers can now play DML on PC if signed into their Google accounts. Start playing on your phone, switch to your PC, then pick up on your phone again through Google Play Games. If you're a Dragon Trainer based in the US, Canada, Brazil, Mexico, Australia, Indonesia, Philippines, Malaysia, Singapore, South Korea, Hong Kong, Taiwan, or Thailand, go ahead and give it a whirl. So those are the only regions that have this right now. This isn't something that Gameloft have done. This is actually Google Play Games. Uh, so no kudos to Gameloft for actually trying to implement this after eight years. It basically goes to Google Play. And there is a little introductory video that you can watch as well, which doesn't give really a whole heap of extra details. It's just advertisement fluff for the most part. But you say it says, discover a new way to play from Google. So all of these Android-only games or non-cross-platform games that you'd play on your, say, phone, you can now test them on PC if you are from those regions. But again, it's a beta, probably going to be very buggy, but you can actually use mouse and keyboard to play your games. Now there's DML, see? There it was in the advertisement. That means it's 100% guaranteed a thing. So... Yeah, if you do want to join in and try this out, that is the link there, g.co slash Google Play Game. And then you'll be able to test out this new feature. But, you know, it's not the cross-platform I was hoping for. You know, an actual cross-platform DML like Dragon City would be absolutely huge. Because a big problem with DML especially is because it's still based on, at the moment, six-hour resets like this current event, I just missed a reset because I'm not home in time for the previous reset now that the time zones have swapped. So if there was a way to go from PC to Android, for example, which would be truly cross-platform, then that would be fantastic for players like myself. 
but unfortunately, because it is just an emulator, it's only going to be one way. It's just going to be your Android game onto a PC emulated. So that does kind of suck, you know, it could have been so very good. But I think by now we've learnt that you shouldn't get our hopes up too much when it comes to the ML, definitely not. But, you know, at the same time, at least they're willing to participate and try these things out. They could have just said, no, we're not letting our games on uh, emulator. I don't know, that's probably possible. Why am I feeding up another war dragon? What the hell? No, sell. So, I'm too distracted at the prospect of potentially one day actually getting cross-platform DML. It's just, when Dragon City's had it for years now, at least I think it's been quite a while, like, DML's sorely lacking in that department. It's like, if you try and go to add someone that's on a different platform or server, you still won't be able to do that, even on this emulated form. And that's something that's really missing from this game, because, now especially as the game gets older and older and there's fewer players, for example, actually making the game cross-platform will be great for existing players so that they can actually play in the same clans as their friends and things like that. But maybe it's just something they're never looking to actually do, which, you know, game loss loss, I guess. But that is the newest and, I guess, coolest news coming out. Again, I was really hoping that this was the moment where it's like, wow, DML has actually improved something. But no, it's just a Google Play's emulation. But I will say, as a PC player for the last eight years, that this game, to me, feels infinitely better on PC than it does on mobile. And I did used to play on mobile. Like, I've played multiple accounts of DML on my mobile before. As in, I've had, what three actual new accounts I think that I've played on and like gotten divines on, things like that as a new account. So I have played both platforms. I've not played iOS or tablet or anything like that, but I have played a lot of PC DML. I've played a decent chunk of mobile DML. I just cannot stand playing this game on PC, uh, on mobile, sorry. Like dungeon on mobile, no thank you. Like, just think, on PC, I can very easily swap between two games, between multiple monitors, so easily. I guess I could look down at my phone as well, but that's harder to micromanage, really. But anyway, I digress. In terms of DML itself, I think, just in general, this is like something that was so close to being so good, but it's just not really going to make a huge difference. But at the end of the day, if it does improve the user experience or the player experience, then I think we should go wild with it. Like, genuinely, if you are in one of those regions and you do have the ability to play the game on PC, I do highly recommend it. Even if it is very, very buggy at the moment because it's in beta. But they do plan on rolling it out to more regions almost certainly. So definitely going to be worth it to pick that up. But that was the main thing I wanted to go through today because, again, personally, I was very excited at the prospect of female finally having some sort of cross-platforminess. Very, very seriously overdue at this point. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, they've had eight years to find a way to do this and they just, they don't, they don't want to. They just simply put, do not want to do it. Which, hey, I guess it's up to them at the end of the day, but... I think DML actual cross-platform would be huge for the game. I mean, it's huge for Dragon City, it's huge for other video games, it's just something that we have not had the ability to try out yet. But anyway, in terms of actual DML stuff, I do have Adept very close to being unlocked, as you can see. We're almost at 500 pieces. Very shortly, we will be there, and I will be there to uh, unlock Neil as well. And almost certainly, that is assuming I grind tomorrow. But we do also have those new primal Blue Seraph and Magus Horn Dragons that have been revealed to us as well. Which I did make a community post about that. So we do have those coming up with the Treasure Hunt event soon. But there's no other news about any of the major events that are coming up. Because they said that, you know, after this ancient event and the divine event is over they do plan on still keeping some sort of monthly based format but we're still haven't 
Although we haven't heard anything else about it at this stage, which maybe we'll hear it during the primal event, maybe after the primal event. But I would say look out for news about that within the next month. That's my that's my guesstimate for when you should expect some news about the new stuff that's actually coming out. Because remember, no more divine events, no more ancient events from this point. But we may still very much have a, the ability even free to play to get these dragons. Maybe. Big maybe. So for now, lots of what ifs and maybes. Maybe we'll get this cross-platform stuff actually truly cross-platform and not just an emulation, but we'll see. We shall see. Anyway, I appreciate you being here, and I do hope to see you again soon.